Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's time for another video about active pieces. And this time I want to show you how I use ChatGPT to create specific workout plans based on my previous workout history. Because I'm often a little bit lazy and I don't push myself as far as I should, but ChatGPT now has my back, like literally. On each workout day in the morning, I get an email from Active Pieces with a specific plan that I just need to follow. So let me show you how to make it work. Now, before we jump into Active Pieces, let's actually build out the workout tracker because that's an important part because it captures previous workout performance that can then just be fed into ChatGPT to come up with a specific training plan. So I go into my Google Drive and let's create a new sheet. So. I call this one, let's make this a little bit bigger. So I call this AP Workout. And right away, what we do is we go to tools and say create a form. It might take a second. And if we check back here, we can see that a new form has created in the very same directory. And the form is just a nicer way to capture my workout. So let's go there. Here, I will track the workout date. So we make this a date, uh, it's required, and we add a new field. And this is the actual exercise, and that could be a free text field, so you could enter whatever you want. But I usually try to keep this as a dropdown, and then I have something like this. So there's barbell, bench, press, let's see, bench, press, and I might have leg press, deadlift. So you get the idea, and you can fill this up however you like. I just want to have this in there because it's much easier to just select an exercise rather than typing it out. So I make this required and I add the field for the actual sets. So I make this a paragraph, I also make it required. And that's pretty much all, right? So this is the whole form. It has a workout date, the actual exercise and the sets. So let's take a look at what this looks like. Um, so here we are. I can, for example, capture today, 13th of November. I did the barbell bench press and the sets, I would enter them as follows. So I would go with like 12 repetitions at 50 kilograms each or 10 at 60 and so on just to have a consistent format that i'm using and i also specify the units which is kilogram which is what i'm using so chat gpt knows the units to use let me now submit this you can bookmark this url for yourself and then you could even submit another response so i will submit a response for each exercise that i'm doing so when i'm in the gym i can easily pull this up and then just submit a new record so let's go back to the actual google sheet because this is what we're going to work with so you can delete the default sheet here because we don't need that anymore and then it says form responses which is the responses from the form and you can see it has timestamp workout date, exercise, and the individual sets. So this is the sheet that we're going to use. I added a bit of data here from my actual workouts. So you can see it has been filled. So this wraps up the first part. You can go to the sheet and enter new data and it will arrive in this sheet. And this sheet is what we're now going to use in Active Pieces. So here we are in Active Pieces. Let's create a new flow. And we will start from scratch. I usually have this on every day that I'm working out. Let's make it every day at, so I usually do 5 a.m. So it's one of the first things that I look at in the morning. So I specify the time zone just to make sure that it respects the time zone that I'm in most of the time. Run on the weekends, yeah, that's just fine. And then we add the first step. And the first step is actually reaching out to our Google form. Let's go to Google and then we go with the Google Sheets. So what we're gonna do is we say find rows. Now I have to specify the connection and I have one created here already, so I can use that. Then I need the actual spreadsheet, so it's loading. And now if I go in there, we can see it says AP workout, which is just going back here, which is just the sheet that I wanna use, right? It says AP workout. So, and the sheet is the form responses. So sheet refers to this is down here and there's just one sheet, so we're gonna use that. Now let's go back um, and we have to specify the column. I usually just go with the timestamp and here we could specify a search value, but if we leave that empty, we will get all the rows. I will limit them to just 1000 because that's usually enough. Let's test that step actually. So we can see this is working. This is how I get our workout data. It's a JSON array, right? So you, you can see this is the first row, which is timestamp, workout date, exercise and sets, right? This just corresponds to what you can see up here. And then it has each row is an individual record. So it shows the date. So first is always the timestamp when the record was created. The second is the date that I set because I might just capture a workout after the fact. So I wanna make sure it has the correct date it has the exercise and it has the sets, right? And we can see it doesn't always make sense because here for the rowing machine, for example, I made 230 meters, for example, in 10 minutes, something like that. 
other than that, I just specify all the data. Now we have the data and the next step is to just invoke our coach, which is OpenAI. And we will use Ask ChatGPT. Again, I have already a connection here. If you don't know how to create it, I have a previous video where I show you exactly the steps. We pick the existing connection model as of today. I think we can use one of the uh, GPT-4 preview models, oh, five not yet. Uh, so this one should be the most recent. I'm going to use that. So, and here comes the prompt. And that, as you probably know, takes a little bit of time to get the prompt just right. Let me just copy the one that I'm already using. So let me bring it in here. All right, so let me just paste it here and then read it. Since ChatGPT usually doesn't have persistent state, uh, which might change, um, I have to provide it all the relevant details that might be interesting for my workout. So I let it know, okay, I'm 38 years old. Uh, I live in Germany, uh, this is my weight, this is my body fat, and this is my height. Then I provide it with my fitness goal, bigger triceps, biceps, chest muscles, and so on, and generally being strong. Then I just pipe in the data and I asked it to provide me a tailored workout plan for 40 minutes of training. And it should also make sure to gradually increase the weights, just to make sure that I make progress. I asked it to display all the data in a table so I can easily read it while on the phone. And I also specify the columns of the table, right? It should have an exercise, sets and reps, weight per set and the rest in between the sets. And this is important. I asked it to provide the entire response in HTML because I want to use it in an HTML email. It should format the whole response, not just the table. And it should not use Markdown, which it usually does. So this is what I add here. And of course, we need the data. So I go with previous workouts and then I just use find rows and just insert all of them. Let me break this down. Now this will just pipe in all the data into our question. And what I usually also like to do is um, doing something like this. You are a personal coach uh, suggesting workout plans based on my, let's, let's do fitness goals, something like this. Yeah, we, we can test this in a second, but I want to show you the actual email. So let's add the final step. I'm using Gmail. Again, I have a connection for that in place. I use send email with the existing connection to, I sent this to myself. Subject is today's workout. And the body, so this is the non-HTML version that is always required because not all email clients might display HTML. So as you can see, I didn't test the steps. So let's go back to ChatGPT because I need to test that to actually have some simple data that we can use. And here we go. So we can see the output. That's actual HTML. That looks all correct. It's styled nicely. I can already see that it's styling the table. So let's go back to the send email step. And now in the body text, we can just insert the result. I'm, I'm still adding the HTML, even though it's not probably rendered here, but it doesn't matter. And here I'm doing the same thing, body HTML, that's the relevant part, I hit insert. And the sender is called AI coach, because why not? And now let's test the step. So that went well, 200 usually means it succeeded. So let's go to my email client and actually Let's hit refresh and we can see it says AI coach today's workout. So let's see what it came up with. So this should be a workout for 40 minutes, but it looks pretty intense already. Uh, so it came up with a barbell bench press with three sets and eight to 10 reps. And it also is suggesting the weight per set and the rest in between these sets. And you can see it came up with pretty decent values and you probably can't see that. So let me increase that because that's the important part. Down at the bottom, it says this workout plan is designed for progressive overload, which is really what I want, right? Because as I said, initially I'm lazy and I need someone to kick my ass and ChatGPT is doing this for me. So that is the whole workflow. I just need to publish it and then every day I get my workout plans. I hope that was useful. If you want to see more of that, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons, share your comments down below and I see you in the next one.